I am stressing upon this topic because many youngsters come disappointed, disappointed, and they don't have any counselling. Okay, disappointed because what the sexual yeah, experience? Yeah, yeah, disappointed. Lots of anxiety, lots of anxiety issues, which we call performance anxiety mm. in both the males as well as the females. Now, this is because this is one of the side effects of internet. I would I would say because you know pornography is something everyone is exposed to. Correct. Not only guys, but even girls, you know, watch lots of porn nowadays and which can be, you know, productive in the sense, you know, if in case a couple is sitting and they're watching some soft porn, mm. it may help in their intimacy or it may help in their foreplay. Correct. But, you know, too much of pornography or what we call as pornography addiction, uh -huh. especially among youngsters, that can be counterproductive. Right. Okay, because I have had stories where, you know, they have tried, you know, some weird positions and they have injured themselves or they compare themselves to their timing should be similar to the timing of the person in the pornography film. Mm. These clips are mostly edited. They are shot over, you know, many days or many weeks altogether. No, but it's also true that porn star generally lasts longer than the average person. No, an average person, you will be surprised, but the average duration of any man who can stand, you know, or who can maintain an erection is 7 to 15 minutes, not more than that. So what is this trope online that this guy lasted 2 minutes, 3 minutes? No, because all, all of this uh, stuff which youngsters are watching online, all these porn stars, they have got penile implants. What? They have got penile implants. So penile implants are basically, you know, um, uh, implants just like, um, you know, uh, silicon ro rod or a silicon pipe. There ah. are 2 or 3 different types. And basically, they replace the interior of the penis. What? Yeah. So, implants, you know, we are regularly doing implants. and But we do it in patients who have some medical illnesses, like, like a cancer survivor. Okay. A cancer survivor who cannot achieve an erection, so we give them penile implants. Or if in case, you know, an elderly couple comes to us where they want to enjoy sex. Hmm. So, we give them a penile implant, post 60, 60 plus individuals. Okay, and nowadays more and more senior citizens they want they are living longer, they are living a good quality of life, yeah. so they want a good and healthy sex life, which we also promote. Yeah. But implants are of two types: the first one, which is uh, a malleable one, or a rigid one, which is the penis will be erect twenty four seven. Even after ejaculation, the penis will remain erect, and uh, the patient or the person he can. Adjust the position. For example, if he wants to turn it down, he can turn it down. He wants to turn it up, he can turn it up. <laughs> the second variety. Sorry, this is so funny. Yeah. The second variety, which is common nowadays, is a three-piece penile implant. A three-piece penile implant, which consists of two hollow cylinders within the penis. And there is a reservoir, as well as a pump, which we hide it in the scrotum or near the testes. When the person pumps it, the saline enters the tubes and the person gets an erection, which is it inflates like a oh, balloon. Saline, huh? Yeah, yeah. And then there is a release button. When the person releases, the erection goes down. <laughs> so most of these, you know, porn stars or whoever, you know, we see, they, most of them, 90% of them have got penile implants. No, I have my, my most famous podcast is with a porn star friend of mine. He he does his porn abroad. He's a male porn star. He's, he said he's like natural, but I never asked him about penile implant. How yeah. popular is this penile implant? Wali? It is very common in United States, especially, you know, in California. It Achha. is very common. So does it, Achha, imagine, if I imagine that the three cylinder, the three piece, then yeah. I have to erection sirf cosmetically dikhane ke liye dikh rahi hai ya mere ko feel ho rahi i'm feeling the arousal or no uh, so you know basically it's sex on demand it's sex on demand yeah okay when you're in the mood to do it you can do it after going one round you're not in the mood but your partner wants you to go for another so second or third round so you can do it so some people like it some people don't like it nahi but iska arousal se kya link hai jaise for example when you are having sex, I think even if you achieve an orgasm, sometimes you're just like not as aroused. Like sometimes yeah. you just naturally have a yeah. have an have yeah. a reaction. Yeah, yeah, that is subjective. But your silicon implant can there orgasm? Uh, kya Sorry, arousal hota hai bahar se. Ya fir wo literally bus. It's just a thing that's erect. It has no feeling on the inside. Sensation hai, hoti hai penis mein. Definitely there is sensation, but you know it may be perceived as a weird sensation by your partner. It may Achha. be perceived because most of it. the most of the couples, 
uh-huh. they complain after few years two years three years you know some of the men they come and they say that you know just remove it ya fir isko nikal do because you know the in the long run they feel that it just feels like a plastic rod or the female partner she complains of lots of pain during intercourse oh cuz it's not bendable it's not bendable it feels artificial oh right right it's like a dildo it feels artificial part. secondly you should also know that you know there are many people doing penile implants me as a professional you know as a board certified andrologist uh-huh. i am using the finest material i am doing a proper job but there are many others also who are uh, doing this job uh, along with you know some counterfeit materials or what you call as the first copy material